one guys uh, let us do this problem right here the question is asking determine the coordinates of the centroid of the airplane's vertical stabilizer so we have this stabilizer right here so what you have to do is uh, so in this case if you see this is a complex object right so we can't uh, directly find the centroid therefore we have to divide into like we have to find a uh, find a picture that is that's gonna give us the simplest form so in this case uh, some people try to do this one like make a triangle right here but we don't know exactly this is this one like exactly the same distance as this one right so we are not sure about that so uh, what we have to do is we have to make a rectangle right here along with this one rectangle right here in the both side and then calculate this area and then we subtract these uh, two triangles so that's how we can calculate this one so let's take a make a list of this uh, so first of all I uh, the, the main thing we have to find is x bar and the y bar the equations equations are going to be sigma a since it is related with the area we have to calculate a x bar divided by sigma a and y bar is going to be same as that it's going to be sigma a y bar divided by sigma a so let's create the table what we have to find so first of all I uh, get the figures so this is going to be figures column and the area then we have to calculate the x bar y bar then we have to uh, calculate a x bar a y bar and that's all we need that's all we need to find so let's make some columns Mm, so these are my columns right here so let's put units for everything since the, this is meter the area is going to be meter square and x bar is going to be meter is a distance and y bar is also a distance meter and a x bar is going to be the area times meter so it's going to be meter cube and a y bar is going to be same thing it's area times meter so it's going to be meter cube then let's see so first figure what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate this uh, rectangle first so for the area area of the rectangle is going to be the length times the width so it's going to be uh, 12 we know this is 12.5 but we don't know this distance but we know this height is 11 because from this one I can say this is uh, this also same height as this one so height is 11 so in this case uh, we have to know the full distance to calculate this area so what we can do is the angle is given and also if you make the height with this one you know this is a 90 degree triangle therefore we can use the tan theta to find this distance right, right here so if I use the tan theta it's going to be tan theta is opposite over adjacent so it's going to be tan 70 is equal to opposite is 11 and the adjacent that's where we have to find let's say this is a x so x is going to be so if I find the x x is going to be 11 over tan 70 and if you plug this one into calculator you will get 4 so this is the value right here so it's going to be 12.5 plus 4 is going to be 16.5 therefore the area is going to be 16.5 multiplied by 11 and if you multiply you will get 181.5 so this is the area and x bar is going to be so let's uh, I put the mark here so whatever the x bar we are going to calculate it's going to be from this point this is the like whatever we, we have to pick a point so this is a point and from this we have to calculate every distance so in this is for the rectangle the centroid is going to be exactly in the middle but for the triangle is one third of this triangle for this triangle so one third of this height and the one third of this width and for this one is one third of this height and one third of this width so it's going to be exactly somewhere right here so let's point this like that then now let's calculate everything so for this now x bar is going to be the distance from here to this uh, middle so it's going to be 16 for uh, we know the total distance is 16.5 so it's going to be extra exactly half of this one so 16.5 divided by 2 is going to be 8.25 right here and y bar is going to be the height of this one and it's exactly half of this height so we know the height is 11 meter and if you divide by 2 it's going to be 5.5 and now we have to multiply this area by x bar and if you multiply this one you will get 1 497.375 for a x bar and a y bar is simply by multiplication of these two 181.5 multiplied by 5.5 that will give you 998.25 so we are done with the rectangle 
now we are going to calculate all the triangle but we have to be very careful we are going to subtract this value so I use a different color uh, pen to avoid the mistake because most, most of the time this is the mistake we are going to make we are not going to subtract mostly people don't subtract and add them together that will mess everything up so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, use a different color to remind me I have to subtract this one so I'm using this color pen and let's do this one so I so this is my triangle right here so triangle we, we know the height is 11 and with we calculated is 4 so for the area of the triangle is with times the height divided by 2 so therefore it's going to be 11 times 4 divided by 2 uh, 11 times 4 divided by 2 is going to be 22 so it's going to be negative 22 because we are going to subtract this one so uh, the information we need area and this sigma x bar and a y bar so I only put the negative sign for those values because we don't have to worry about this x bar and y bar we are not going to do anything with this so let's do this one so x bar so this is minus 22 and x bar is going to be the distance from here to one third of this distance so it's going to be we know this is this distance is 4, four meter right so it's going to be 4 by 3 therefore so this is going to be 4 by 3 and y bar is going to be the height from this one so it's going to be so we know the total uh, height is 11 so one third of the 11 is going to be 11 divided by 3 then ax bar is going to be simply multiplication of the area times this one that will give us minus 29.3 and area of uh, this one times y bar is going to be minus 22 times 11 divided by 3 is going to be minus 80.6 so we are going to subtract these three values right here and let's calculate the other triangle it's also same thing we are we are going to subtract this triangle too because this is not something that exists so whatever doesn't exist we have to subtract from this one so let's do this one so if I take this value this is my triangle right here and uh, to, do, to do this triangle what I have to do is I have to know this distance I don't know this distance yet so let's say this is uh, x2 so this is x1 this is x2 to calculate this distance it's going to be same thing because uh, this is a 90 degree triangle so we can use the tan theta right here so we, we have the angle is given 48 degrees so to find this distance I can use the tan theta tan theta is going to be opposite over adjacent therefore this is going to be tan 48 multiplied tan 48 is going to be equal to x2 is my opposite side and divided by 11 therefore x2, x2 is going to be equal to 11 times tan 48 and if you calculate this value that comes out to be 12.22 meter so this is my x2 value therefore now I can calculate the area of this one area is going to be simply multiplication of this one and 11 divided by 2 so it's going to be 12.22 multiplied by 11 divided by 2 that will, that will give you the value of 60 uh, 67.21 remember we are going to subtract this value so I put the negative sign right here to avoid mistake so in this case uh, x bar is going to be the distance from this base to this one so what I have to do is I simply uh, take the one third of this 12.22 and then subtract from this value so if I do that I will get the value of uh, so let's show it uh, here so it's going to be 16.45 that's I know this total distance is 16.5 right so because this 12.5 we know x, x1 is equal to 4 so this 16.5 and I have to subtract this 12.22 divided by 3 because uh, centroid of the triangle is one third of one third from the height and the width so that's how we know this is exactly right here so from this one we will get the information that this is equal to 12.426 then for y bar it's exactly same thing uh, total distance is 11 so we have to subtract 11, uh, 11 minus 11 by 3 so it will give you uh, so also you can say this is 11 and if it's 1 by 3 here the bottom part is 2 by 3 also you can say 2 by 3 multiplied by 11 same thing so that way, that way you can calculate this value and if you multiply this area with this x bar you will get the value of minus 835.15 and if you multiply this y bar times this area you will get the value of minus 492 
0.87 now we need these three informations uh, some of these three informations area uh, ax bar and ay bar because that's what we are going to use in this equation right so let's calculate these values so if I calculate this value this is going to be sigma 92.29 remember I am subtracting these two values from this one so that's how I got this value right here then here is going to be sigma of 632.92 and the last one is going to be sigma of 424.38 now I can I am ready to go I can calculate the x bar and the y bar using these informations so let's do this one here x, therefore x bar is going to be equal to we know this is uh, this I'm going to apply this equation sigma of x bar divided by a we calculated sigma x bar is equal to 632.92 632.92 that's going to be meter cube because it's area multiplied by the distance so it's going to be meter cube right here divided by the area area is going to be meter square so it's going to be 92.29 meter square 29 meter square and if you divide both of them together you will get the value of 6.86 meter so this is my x bar and to find the y bar I have to simply sub substitute this a y bar right here it's going to be 424.38 meter cube divided by this area so it's going to be 92.29 92.29 meter square and if you divide both of them together you will get 4.4.60 meter so this is how we calculate the centroid points now we can place the centroid for in this diagram let's see so I use a different color pen, pen right here so we know x by 6.86 meter so if you see the object we, we know this we found out this is 4 meter right so six, uh, let's say this is uh, 6.86 so it's going to be here and we know y bar is 4.6 meter so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be height of 6 meter so it's going to be somewhere right here let's say this uh, 4.6 so if I connect these bo both points that's going to give you give us the centroid so it, centroid is going to be exactly somewhere here so this is how we calculate the centroid and that's it I hope you guys like this video see you next time